Today's adventure brings me to Colonial Drive, Highway 50 in Oakland, Florida, where a home right across the street from this very busy thoroughfare sits empty for just about two decades, a little over two decades. I believe after the very famous residents moved out, well, I don't want to use the word famous, maybe infamous residents moved out, even though they really weren't, just relations to someone who was moved out in September of the year 2001. So it's been 21 and a half, if my math is correct, since they lived in there. I believe someone else took over the property. And from what I can tell now, nothing is happening back in there. And I've driven past this many, many times and I'm noticing it's completely accessible. So I'm gonna just walk over there and see if I can just take a peek what lies behind that wall. Welcome everyone. Out of the woo here as the recording of this Sunday, January 8, 2023. You can see this pretty much just walk right up here too. There's no fence here. There's a fence over here, but there's no fence here. I'm just gonna walk along the edge and just see what I can see. You see one sign, which is just a construction crew sign. It's probably for down the down the ways a little bit. But I'm not seeing any signage. Rumor was this place was for sale for a long time, but I'm not seeing any for sale signs. I'm not seeing any keep out signs. I'm not seeing stay off the premises signs. Obviously, there's nothing saying come on in. But there's also nothing out here deterring anyone from walking in. With all of my adventures, I'm inviting you to join me on this. It's a place I wanted to check out for a long time, and I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. But I also wanna show the condition of the front here, and then also just kinda see if there's anything inside peeking in that alerts that it's still for sale, or it's gonna be bulldozed. Rumor was a couple years ago, as I was saying, join me. Shall you? Well, this is the condition of the front right now. There's a tire down here. Not only the tire, but you can see that it is looks like a truck just kind of plowed this down, just bulldozed this down in every way, shape, or form. You see some cinder blocks over here. Evidently a car veered off, plowed this down, or they just took it down on their own accord. You see there used to be some sort of like a gate hinge there. leading onto the property. And I was looking at some satellite views and I thought that there was a pathway that went here through the woods, but oh, here it is. So this is the turn off here that basically just goes through the shrubs and the ant beds. Now a little backstory on this, the family of the Bin Ladens lived here. Not the Bin Laden you were thinking of. His brother, I guess he had a incredible amount of siblings, brothers and sisters. And one of them lived here with his family up until the events, obviously of 2001, September of that year. And, you know, fearing for his safety, hightailed it out of here, left the country because, you know, people would probably react to him as if they were reacting to his brother. And the black sheep of the family, obviously, in more ways than one. An evil man. All right, I don't really know where I'm going. In all honesty, this is completely grown over. Wow. Guess I'm gonna go this way. No one has been on this property in a while. Look at this. So there's the other side of the fence, right over there. Anyone could just stroll through there and it looks like, gosh, I'm not the only one here. Look at this pathway has been worn out. A lot of people have walked down this. And I'm just pretty much doing this to, just because out of curiosity, but I also want to document this, I guess you could say for posterity, because what will happen is, as I said, the there's a lot of rumors around town and people have different opinions the locals whether they want an apartment complex to go in here. Now it is said that they want to build a multi-apartment complex, possibly high-rises, but definitely 
hundreds, if not countless hundreds of apartments scattered all through here. And the locals don't want that, but the person who did possibly own this, I don't, it's, been, it's gone through so many different owners' hands, I don't even know who owns this now. But if apartments end up here, everything that's back here will be torn down and completely bulldozed. And I wanna see if the house is even salvageable, even in the condition of what it looks like. So I'm gonna check that out also. Kind of been filming all this on the way in. I'm not really seeing any signs, any for sale signs or any other signs saying what's going on with this place. This is the, this is the driveway. Evidently they owned a lot of horses. My feet are crackling underneath these acorns that are down here. They had a lot of horses out here. There's a boat that's seen better days and deteriorating. I haven't done a video like this in a long time. This isn't usually my forte anymore. But there's a lot of history here. And something you just kind of want to see. Wanted to see. Always want to see this with my own eyes. Fascinating property. Beautiful trees. Hope apartments do come into here. They don't tear all these trees out. Here's the lake over here. Lakefront property. Yeah, safe to say no one's driven down this in ages. You see they've already torn something down here. Wow, this is really something. The downed limbs, but this is beautiful. I had no idea. Scenic beauty through here. I could see how someone would want this. It was on the market a few times. Back when it was on the market, it seemed like it was a pretty good deal. Obviously out of my price range, but a pretty good deal for someone who had the money with the lake view, the scenic driveway, sirens going by. This has been a place I've always wanted to see for a long time and never really, never really checked it out until now. Once I caught wind of the, the possible fact that it was all going to be bulldozed, you know, it's just rumor and speculation, just wanted to see what was left over here. I think a lot of people probably feel that way too. Classic, textbook, beautiful. Well, I don't think I'm using that terminology correctly, but great lakefront property here. Of course, there's a fence around the pool here, but you know, the, the gate over here is open to the fence with a good view of the pool. You know, this would be something. If it's for sale, someone could buy this. This is in, pretty, this is in better shape than I expected it to be. Obviously, the grounds need a little TLC. diving board still over here. A little bit of green algae there. In the pool, obviously. This is a sweet spot for a house. Just take it, imagine taking a dip in this pool. I mean, obviously it's clean it up, but look at the water over there. Look at the lake. People out there fishing. I'd live here, 100% would live here. Well, I haven't really peeked inside yet, so I don't know what the condition inside is, but. I just love this pool right here along the water. Right here on the lakefront. You get the brick patterns down here. The name of the lake directly behind where I'm standing is John's Lake. Lakefront property, a lot of acreage. This, this property is pretty expansive. So I could see how a developer would want to buy 
from whoever owns the property. Maybe the city owns it now. Maybe the town owns it. Prime real estate. When you get out of the shallow end here, it looks like they had a deep end, then a shallow end. It's like a little stage here. You do like a little barbecue pit area there. You can have some live music out here. You can set up a little canopy. Enjoy the day. Up the staircase, even like some barbecue grills over here. Or a big barbecue grill. You can have a real party out here. Nice. This is quite the compound. It's in good shape. I Now that I'm looking at this, I really hope they do not tear this down. That's just my opinion. This this needs to be bought by someone. I mean, if the price was right, I'm not really in the market for a house, but yeah, this is like a lot of property fenced off. Well, moderately was fenced off. Now anybody could just kind of walk up in here, but when some residents moved in, they could fix it all up. Really turn this into quite the quite the little compound. Broken out window. Not going to classify this for window shopping for a new home by any means, but the wheels are turning in my head. I'm kind of daydreaming because I would live here. I would totally live in this house. You could have you could have this quite the little little soirees out here. You could even have you could even rent this out as a separate apartment. You got a three car garage over here. You got the little lanai. Well, that's like a little walkway to shield yourself from the elements and the Florida rain going from the garage or the studio up top, where you can do creative endeavors in there, walking back to the main house. Amazing, I've heard, always heard about this place, but I never knew how really beautiful it really is. As run down as it is, and there's beauty in that, if this thing was brought back up to form, it'd be very beautiful. almost has like kind of like an, I don't want to say like an old Hollywood vibe to it, but it kind of reminds me of like old Hollywood where you'd see like something in like that area. Of course, you got a lot more land here than you would out in LA. And with the horse farm and, well, not the horse farm, but the horse area and all that, you can almost have like a little mini Florida Graceland of sorts. Yeah, look at this. Hello. Look at that. I'm not gonna go inside. I could pick, I could hop in the window, but I'm not gonna go in there. That's awesome. Got the stables over there, horse stables. Small little pump house or some kind of horse stable here. And if you kind of pan back. Hope it doesn't get leveled, I really do. And again, this place has sat empty for like two decades. So it's not looking good. That interesting railing over here. Up top, almost like there was a balcony, but there's not. It's like no floor to it. Beautiful. Fast forward 20 years. Well, 15 years. How old would I be in 20 years? I'm 48 now, 68. What if I was living here in 20 years? What's that bird? Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna end up in Florida either. Man, who knows? Just thinking out loud. And I'd imagine their property line would stretch all the way out here to this little, this little point, which is great. They even had an area over here, there's the, there's the boat dock there. See some fishermen out there. I heard a noise. It's like this could have been the old boat dock here with these metal stanchions in the ground. Even a little concrete where the water is. Oh, some shells down there. And then a little vestibule remnants of a vestibule over there. I really don't want to step on a snake through here. Some chairs back in there.
The fact that there is absolutely no one living in the house, the shape it's in, the condition of the yard, and there are no realtor signs anywhere, kind of leads me to believe that possibly the rumors are true that maybe this won't exist in the future. Just putting two and two together could be wrong, but really no signage anywhere of any sort. Kind of strange. You know, I was talking about how it reminds me kind of a LA or whatnot. I can just picture Lieutenant Columbo pulling up right here. This is like, watch those Columbo episodes. I've seen all of them. And he would pull up to places like this to ask someone who was, you know, a well-to-do, someone well-off, who committed a crime. And he'd pull up right here and get out, snoop around, ask some questions, had his way of interrogating, interrogating people. I don't know what word I was just trying to say there. But I could just see Peter Falk walking around here. Obviously, I didn't film any Columbo episodes in Florida, but it gives me that vibe. Just one more question, ma'am. Just one more question. Is this place for sale? Or is it going to be bulldozed? I want to know. I think a lot of people want to know. All right, I'm glad I checked it out. Again, not the type of stuff, not the type of content I normally do really anymore. It's really few and far between I do stuff like this. But this is way too interesting, way too local, and way too relevant, 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 relevant with the possibility of it not existing anymore. I just had to. There's another garage up here. I get back to my car, I'm gonna do a little more research online see if I can find if this place was on the market if someone owns it and maybe a little more a little more info than just walking around if there is any ah so where this leads is from that guest house over there where it sounded like someone was squatting in there into the garages here okay so more more garages for stuff. A lot of places for vehicles. For boats. I'm walk over the horse pen too. The reason it kind of gave me the, you know, Graceland and Florida vibes is because Elvis. In Memphis, you know, he would have property like this. He'd ride his horses around. And then where the, the main wall was, back when he was alive, he would ride his horses down, take his go-karts, and go down, go down to the wall and talk to people that wanted to meet him and say hi to him. And it just kind of reminds me. Kind of reminds me of that, this big open pasture here in the front and in the house, about the same distance off the road. Even got a basketball hoop up here. There's the horse stalls on this side. There's four horse stalls. Family living peacefully here, enjoying the Florida, you know, attractions, weather tropical climate and all of a sudden our brother did my brother did what let's get out of here now for good reason probably wise on their account probably wise they they just uprooted immediately got out of here I don't know if it was that day but pretty quickly and left the country leaving all this empty and I stayed I was reading some stuff online not not didn't, didn't go too deep down the rabbit hole on it but did see that someone else moved in after the fact for a short time, but obviously looking at it now, no one has lived here for a long time. I would love to get inside the house. You know, obviously, if someone does own it, I'd like to look around in there with permission. But if not, if no one does own it and the city now owns this and it's leveled, I'm gonna be very thankful that I documented all this. Because who knows, in just a couple years, you know, even next year, five years, 10 years, this could just be all condos and apartments through here. And everything I just showed could be erased from existence.
walking back out the way I came in through the former driveway that's all grown over with foliage fallen leaves ant beds and acorns Look at all these cars going by. How many people, I'm gonna say a day, but how many people a week inquire what this is, park across the street like I did, and peruse around in there? I'm gonna say quite a few. Found this article from a local paper from back from 2011, kind of stating some info about it. It was a five bedroom, obviously I just looked at it, but it was a five bedroom Mediterranean style mansion, once owned by Kali. That was, the, that was his brother's name. Does it have a price on here? 1.6 million? 1.8 million. Okay, no, Kali purchased it for 1.6 million. The owners back in 2011 were asking just under 2 million. But that's been 12 years ago. And another newspaper article here. Undated photo shows a five bedroom Mediterranean style mansion owned by Kali. This article's out of St. Pete, but it does say the home is located in Oakland, Florida, a quiet small town 20 miles west of Orlando. There's a pool, horse stable, and a four-car detached garage fallen into disrepair because of vandals and Florida weather. Can easily be restored to its previous grandeur. That was over a decade ago. Asking price just shy of two mil. And then in May of 2011, another mansion? I guess there's one that someone else in the family had in LA. This residence, look at this. This residence has been named by Forbes as one of the, quote, creepiest abandoned mansions in the, I didn't find anything really creepy about it, but yeah. Okay, this is a lot. 54 siblings. <laughs> Goodness, 54 siblings this all my have. Now sitting right here on this very, very, very busy thoroughfare, Highway 50, Colonial, right over there. Sitting, just, just sitting over there. Piece of history, just rotting away. That's going to do it for today. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.